So today is going to be a pretty interesting video, uh, and I think it might be actually pretty funny actually. Myself and KIG Outdoors are doing a little challenge today. Um, I think I spoke about it in one of my last videos. Anyways, we're doing the Bad Lure Challenge. Um, I'll go over in detail a little more uh, when I meet up with him here, and uh, we're going to show you guys the lures, but basically all we did was pick each other out the worst lure we thought we could find uh, with a within a given amount of money so we didn't overspend and we are going to trade out we're going to give each other the lures that we bought for each other and uh, we're going to go try and catch some fish and loser and the loser is going to get a, uh, a very painful surprise which you guys will see at the end of this video Anyways, I'm going to continue driving here and meet up with him, and uh, I'll probably pick the camera back up when we get back to the pond. So, uh, I'll see you guys there. $15 limit. We had to, it's all we had to get it to the house. Um, basically, we're going to do, I don't know, biggest fish and most fish. I don't know. I think we should do most fish. We'll do most fish. Most fish. Most fish. That makes it easy. Um, what else? Basically, one it was, hour. It was one hour. One hour time limit. Thirty minutes unmodified, and after thirty minutes, we can modify our lures to our pleasing, and hopefully catch more fish. Yeah, we we're only gonna put an hour because uh, it won't be a great video if uh, if we don't catch you. If we ain't catching no fish, so yeah. uh, Anyways, he so. has not seen mine. I have not seen his. So, so lure. lure. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, <laughs> anyway, what we did was we bought. We bought each other a lure, but we haven't seen anything. Basically, we spent $15 or less, close to 15 as you can get. We're going to swap them out now, and neither one of us has actually seen the lures. Um, so, Here we you, go. you want to go first? You go first. I got you shoes. Mine mine was mine was shipped in a, a paper sandwich bag. From This is no joke. It came off of eBay, off, ugh, off of eBay in a paper bag. So... Oh, I can already tell you it's an ass seen on TV. <laughs> this is not going to be good. <laughs> All right, here goes nothing. <laughs> the flying lure. The, fl the flying lure. Let me let me give you some specs on the flying <laughs> lure. Some of them. <laughs> what you do is you rig it up, right? You cast the flying lure out. It shoots under. It shoots right under. Oh, my cover. God. You, you pop it, and it comes out. And you let it sink, and it shoots right back under the cover to catch all the 10-pound fish that are in this Dude, what? pond. What? How, how are you supposed to rig this? Well, like that. <laughs> but that doesn't show this. No, see? I mean, it literally shows like a, a separate, a whole nother lure going up underneath a tree. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> mm -mm -mm. The flying lure. Yeah, I'm in trouble. Number one. Paper bag special. The flying lure is world's number one fishing lure. You see that right world's there? World's number number one. one. Alan. Al, you don't know Alan? No. <laughs> yeah, Alan. What's man. his larger? Langer? Alan. Alex Langer. Langer. Alex. Alex Langer. That guy. I hope he likes it. <laughs> oh, yeah. It. <laughs> It's so old. You could tell. <laughs> it's so old. It's turned yellow. First of all, no, it's, it's supposed to be that way. Oh, and it's. It looks like it's been sitting in someone's closet, or <laughs> God, <laughs> or the attic. <laughs> it's another as seen on TV it's product. A, as seen on TV, Roland Martin's helicopter lure. The helicopter lure. Uh, how, how do you rig this? Look <laughs> at. <laughs> Look at the weight. The, the weight. Let me show. The weights have literally turned to dust. Oh man. So I gotta fish this weightless apparently. <laughs> oh, I didn't know. Yeah, it they're comes soft plastic. Yes, they're soft plastic. You know how the fish will actually. Yeah, tear that bad boy up. Yeah. So supposedly this is just basically the same concept as a buzz bait. You throw it out. You reel it in pretty fast from what I see on YouTube, because <laughs> that's only the only person I've ever seen use it, and it's supposed to. Uh, Kind of almost like mim mim mimic a uh, buzz bait. 
a crap uh, except it doesn't have the noise the flashiness or the appeal <laughs> but look I want, I want to show or you something Doctor, integrated with dr. juice scent what is <laughs> what is dr. dr. juice because uh, can't get this stupid thing open we're probably not going to uh, catch any fish careful with that knife now this they smell like they smell like your grandpa's fit like tackle box that's what it smells like grandpa's tackle box doesn't it yeah it does that's exactly look, at that. look how old is this from the 40s <laughs> like 19 i'm pretty sure it come out in like 98. you're gonna need more than a book how in the world <laughs> oh you texas rig it really attach the swivel that ain't no way you can texas rig that that's gonna be one-sided that's <laughs> Since we're not going to be fishing next to each other, we'll get our phones out and we'll set a time limit for 30 minutes and we'll hit start at the same time. Then we can just take off running at that point. All right. <laughs> you ready? You One, are? two, three, go. go. All right, that's it. 30 minutes. It just moves the water. It doesn't even do anything. Oh, it is like a buzz bait. It's actually working. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna leave the hook a little more exposed because I don't think this is pretty solid rubber. I think it's gonna be kind of hard to catch them to hook them at least. So it looks like KIG has actually chosen to go to the deep side where I have chosen to go to the shallow side and it's a good thing I chose this way because I've been seeing some movement up here plus it was this direction that I actually ooh did you see that it was this direction that I actually caught that fish already all right I'm gonna try and make it around <clears throat> without getting too awful muddy but this is pretty bad looking Oh, great. I don't know if I can get through here without getting... Oh, God. It's not electric, is it? No, nope, it's not. Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. I'm sinking. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, God. Oh God, oh shit. Oh God, oh God. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, okay. Oh. Okay, so I'm way too fat for that stuff. Oh God, it's more sinking water. Oh God, it's, it's like a swamp. No. Oh! What in the world is going on here? Just missed one. Probably rolled it over a nest. KIG just caught one. break my pole in half uh, that's three three fish right here in the same spot that I missed I'm kind of cross between doing top water action or working it like a crawl I've gotten most of my bites working it like a crawl or a Texas rig but I keep seeing fish bust at the top so I might try a little bit of both another one I've missed three I can't hook him. So KIG just caught his second fish, which is amazing. Awesome. That means I'm losing hard now. I've got a lot of ground to cover. I, you'll beat me. There's no way. There's no way I can't hook a fish. They won't eat it. Well, they eat it, but they won't, it won't hook them. 
I've had three smack it hard and I set the hook, comes right out of their mouth. That's time. Right now I've got two, but they're really small, but what do you expect for the size of the lure I'm using? Hey, uh, I've had. I don't, are you gonna change anything up? Man, I don't know, it's just. I'm gonna go ahead and tell you I am. <clears throat> I've had three hits. All of them were kind of on the bank and I was fishing it Texas rig style, letting it sink and popping it. What I'm seeing, look, you can see where they've smacked it. Mm. They've got the propellers hitting on it. It's a good time. They're hitting it, but I mean, I can't, they just won't do it. So I started leaving the hook like that. I just left the hook open. Right. Because it's really not that weedy here. No. And by that time, they quit hitting. They quit hitting it. I guess they, they caught on that the uh, boat propeller was not <laughs> edible. But yes, there are teeth marks in it where they've been trying to hit it. Mr. KIG Outdoors pulled through. Caught two. They weren't the biggest things you've ever seen. They weren't spectacular. But the helicopter lure, as you can see, didn't end very well. So, it's a, it's, do I get a buzz bait? Is that what I get? We're gonna put it on the hook, so I get hooked in the. Water. Oh, oh, uh, we were gonna do that. We didn't say nothing about that. Yeah, <laughs> you don't need yours. <laughs> I don't have a jig, so I'll take a buzz bait. Dude's got a hook on it. Well, put some over it. Use the damn helicopter. using the helicopter lure <laughs> so one i don't hook myself just leave it like that and two it's kind of a shame that what got me beat is getting me beaten the dick <laughs> so if you haven't found out yet basically what's going to happen is loser gets hit in the nuts with a bait so i'm taking a nut shot yeah, hurry up we're losing the day i'm going i'm going you ready how many shots you get three tries. What, from here? Here? Yeah, sure. Just... <laughs> you ready? Yeah. Oh, God dang it. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> My nuts are down here, not up here. Hold on. <laughs> Good thing I was doing that. Oh, thank God. You ready? <laughs> oh. Dude, it's so hard. One more. I did get a bruise in the chest, though. <laughs> No, it's alright. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, I got the camera, man. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no nuts, boys. Three tries. All you got. <laughs>